Hi guys, today I'd like to tell you awkward stories about rebranding. The first one is Naked Mermaid in Starbucks logo. In 1971, English teacher Jerry Baldwin, history teacher Zeb Siegel and writer Gordon Walker each folded about $1,315 dollars bought another five thousand dollars and opened a coffee bean store in seattle according to other sources, the company first store was opened on march 31st 1971. the trio were inspired to trade in high quality coffee beans and equipment after interpreter alfred p told them his method of roasting the beans starbucks was named after captain starbucks made in moby the stylist image of the Syrian became the logo. The mermaid on the Starbucks logo is unrecognizable. In 1987, her magnificent breasts were covered with hair and the navel was drawn in the right place. Later, they made even larger zoom on the mermaid, so the consumer doesn't care why she has two tails and what is hiding between them. The second one, the expulsion of the chick from the Nestle logo. The German pharmacist Henry Nestle, the founder of Nestle, set up production of his legendary farine Latin milk flour in the city of Vevey in Switzerland. The product that Henry developed was a combination of cow's milk, wheat flour and sugar. Henry Nestle created it to reduce the high mortality rate among the babies who, for one reason or another, couldn't be breastfed. By this time, the pharmacist began to create his new trademark, a family coat of arms, which depicts a nest with birds. The world-famous logo, which served as the prototype of the modern sign, appeared in 1868. An interesting story is connected with the image of the Nestle logo. There were three chicks in the Nestle logo, but after conducting research, the company's marketers found out that most European families has only two children, not three. In 1988, during one of the rebranding, marketers decided to throw one chick out of the nest so the logo would resonate with more mothers. The third, thick Pepsi. There is no sad story in the world than the story of the rebranding of Pepsi. The corporation spent $1.2 billion to update its identity, content strategy and overhaul advertising activities. And attention! 1 million on the logo! The result in the picture. As we can see, no significant changes have taken place. The styles have been tilted slightly, the shape of the gap between the classic blue and red has been changed. But consumers soon realized what the new logo was associated with. A man with a huge belly drinking a world-famous carbonated drink. Um, Agrees that this is not the best image that should accompany a brand of this direction and level. And here, social networks played against Pepsi. Users spread the remake of the logo so quickly that even those who had never looked closely at this picture thought about the fat man. The company quickly responded to the incident by releasing a slew of videos of the logo twisting and turning to distract the consumer from the visual image of Big Belly. But, as I say, the sediment remained tough. Interesting places in Airbnb. The well known accommodation booking service in 2014 rebranded the logo. The new picture was supposed to symbolize people, location and love at the same time. But something went wrong. 
social media users immediately began discussing the new logo and comparing it to various parts of the human body. And the genitals took first place in this competition of associations. The company received thousands of derisive comments on Facebook and only said that when developing a new logo, it didn't put out any other meanings in it. What lesson can be learned from this? Before launching a rebrand, show it to the maximum number of people and ask what they associate new images with. So, thank you for watching my video. If you found it a little bit funny, <laughs> at least, please like and subscribe on my channel. Have a good day. See you soon. Goodbye.